first time in over a century, a Colorado lawmaker is expelled from the legislature. Representative Steve Lebsock is accused of sexual misconduct. The vote followed hours of statements from emotional lawmakers. Representative Lebsock also got emotional in his final plea to lawmakers before that vote. Only nine House members voted against expelling Lebsock. Our Sean Boyd has been listening to the statements at the state capitol today. And Sean, this vote came down in just the past hour. Hey, you know, Dominic, never in all my years down here have I seen lawmakers so emotional. They choked up as they talked about sexual misconduct inside and outside this building, about retaliation for speaking out, and about a scandal that has rocked this building and caused some to even fear for their lives. I'm in the chamber of the House of Representatives, and I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. Representative Alec Garnett's confession sent shockwaves through the House chamber. It wasn't just Representative Steve Lebsock's accusers who feared him, but witnesses to the harassment. That fear and stories from lawmakers like Representative Chris Hansen. My wife, on a trip, was assaulted, which is kind of a nice way to say she was raped. Move many to tears and move Republicans who had planned to vote against expulsion to change their minds. And I've tried to be loyal to a fault, but loyalty has its boundaries, and my loyalty must go back to my family and my daughter. Men and women, Democrats and Republicans, became emotional as they expressed support for Lebsock's accusers, including Representative Faith Winter. This is not about hugs. This is not about handshakes off-color jokes, or an occasional misunderstanding. This is about a systematic use of power to intimidate, harass, and control people. Lebsack, however, maintained his innocence to the end. There's no reason for me to lie, and I'm not going to. I'm going to tell the truth. I told the truth earlier about the polygraph. Read it again. His colleagues didn't buy it. H.R. 1005 is passed. Now, the nine Republicans who voted against expulsion said the process was too rushed and that the investigation should have been done not by an outside investigator, but by an ethics committee with the power to subpoena witnesses and have them testify under oath. As a parting gift to Democrats who drove his expulsion proceedings, Lebsack, just before the vote today, changed his party affiliation to Republican. So the vacancy committee will need to appoint a Republican now to replace him here. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Sean, thank you.